everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a nice big juicy Poundland haul for you guys. So I went into Poundland with a mission. I was going in for the perfume, the Black Dust perfume, the face masks, the little tub of kale face masks and skinny whips, three items. But you guys know me well enough to know that I just don't go into Poundland for three items. I go in there and come out 50 quid later on two big bags. Two big bags full of crap later. So I went in, I got some stuff, I'm going to show you it all. I tried to do it in little groups, like categories, like food and health and beauty and homeware and just miscellaneous. I'm going to try and do it like that, but you know, Stuff might have got mixed up and all that, so we'll just we'll just crack on with it, guys. Also, was it Linda Orm? Was it Linda? She actually said in the comments of my last Poundland haul video, which I will link above, she said, you know, and I know, that you're not just going to go into Poundland for those face masks and the perfume. And she was 100% right, so let's just crack on with this and we'll forget that I was just going in for three items and came out with like 50, 60 items. All right? The first thing that I got, I'm going to do food first. First thing I got was this four pack of Hello Pandas. These I got for Ali, just one box from B&M, no, from Home Bargains quite a while ago. It was like 30p or something for one box. So I got them on to try because they're like Biscolati, which he was obsessed with like this time last year. He loved these little tubs of Biscolati. I think that's what they're called, or Biscolata? I can't remember, but anyway, really enjoyed them. So when I saw they were in a four pack for a pound, I got them some of the image treats. I also got them some Curiously Cinnamon cereal bars. He really likes the cereal version of these, but I don't know if he's, I don't think he's tried the cereal bars before, so I got them them to try. I also got him a tub of Pringles. These are Sour Cream Fiesta. These are like a movie night snack over a couple of weeks. Oh, actually, I also got barbecue Pringles for Mark. I was paying him for doing a little bit of painting for me, so I paid him in barbecue Pringles, which they're, they're gone already, and kettle chips, mature cheese, I think it was, kettle chips. I got a name as well, so you won't see these in this haul, but I did get them, and they're gone. Gone. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you know my son, Ali, you will know he is crazy obsessed with Bisco. And I saw these in Poundland, obviously I saw them in Poundland, that's what I'm doing a Poundland haul. Anyway, I saw these and they are just the Biscoff biscuits, but they're chocolate covered. Is it Belgian chocolate? Yeah, Belgian chocolate covered Biscoff. I was like, he's never tried them before, so he's got to have them because different kind of Biscoff that he's got to try. I also picked them up these because I thought these would be really, oh the light from the window shining in. I thought, well it's the summer holidays now and at the, the first couple of weeks of the summer holidays we've not got any plans. We haven't really made any plans for the summer holidays but because we're decorating and all that at the minute I haven't made any plans to go out or that but hopefully as the summer holidays progress we'll get the chance to go and do a few day trips, you know, keeping in mind we've still got to socially distance, wear face masks. So it'll be like maybe to the zoo or something, something, we're going to do something, but I thought these would be good for like little lunch boxes to take with us for Ali, not for me. I've not checked since or that for these because I had Ali in mind when I bought these. So it is, it's just biscuits. There's uh, 10 packs and each, oh it has like six biscuits in each pack, oh that's quite a lot. They're called Twinnies. So there's double chocolate, chocolate vanilla, vanilla strawberry and chocolate banana flavour so that'll do you know, over the entire summer holidays probably into August and that as well. I actually picked up two of these bags but one's already going to my nieces that I bought it for. One of my nieces, Emma Jane, absolutely loves the Peter Rabbit movie. She's been watching it on repeat over the last few weeks so when I saw these and they were only 25p by the way they were in like the Easter stuff that all had reduced down so I've got two bags and I gave her one already, but I forgot I'd got two bags, so I need to give her this one next time I see her as well. But she is to share them with our sisters and our brothers. They're not just for her, it's just with her in mind because she loves Peter Rabbit. It's just little um, gummy carrots. 
that's all it is, but they're sweets and they're Peter Rabbit themed, so I know she's loving them. I don't know if these are new, but they're new to me. I've never seen them before and I got them as a treat for my mum. And actually, I did get my mum some stuff, but I've already taken her stuff through and I forgot to put this in our bag. So next time I'll go through, I will put these in our bag. But these are strawberry and mint after eights. Have you guys seen these before? I've never seen them before. I mean, I know you get all different flavours of after eights now, but... Never seen new one, so I've got a beam for my mum to try. If you are new to my channel, you won't know that I follow the Slimming World plan. So I was looking for some low sin chocolate treats when I was in there and I did see they had the Toblerone minis. So these are the white chocolate with honey and almond nugget ones. And these are just the regular Toblerone ones. How many is in each bag? It's 200 grams, each bag's 200 grams. And I think they're all one and a half cents per uh, individual wrapped one, so I can't wait to tuck into them. I'm literally, as soon as I finish this video, I'm having a cold room because I'm feeling quite hungry. And I did go in for Skinny Whips, but I couldn't find Skinny Whips in there, so I'm going to have to go to Home Bargains or B&M for them. But I did pick up the Skinny Crunch. I've never tried these before, so I, I think you can have two as a healthy extra B or they're five cents or something each. Well, it says less than 75 calories, so they can't be as high as 5 cents, surely. They must be 3.5 cents or 4 cents. But I got them. Oh, what flavour did I get? I got the peanut butter ones. And another low sin treat that I picked up for myself. Well, it's not very low sin, but it's quite low sin. It's Twiglets. Oh my god. I flipping love Twiglets. I've not had them for ages. Mark actually bought himself like a big tin. You know the tins that you get at Christmas time? He got himself one of them. Oh god, way back in March or April time or something. And I was still trying desperately to stay on plan at this point, I remember that. But I inadvertently had a couple of these twiglets. I was like, oh my god, I'm not meant to be eating them. And I didn't know the sins, I thought they'd have been quite high in sins. But actually, these are, I think these are four and a half sins a bag. I mean, it says 99 calories for a 24 gram pack. But I'm sure I read when I was in, because when I'm in Poundland, I'm checking for sin values. I was googling it and I'm sure it said four and a half cents but if I'm wrong I will put it on the screen and that is everything that I got in the way of foods and snacks I'm going to go into like the health and beauty cosmetic -y type section now category now um, I did go in for these the black dust perfume if you remember last Poundland haul I picked up one of these because black opium is my favorite perfume in the whole world and I got this because it's apparently a really good dupe it is a really good dupe it's a very good dupe so I wanted to go back and pick up quite a few of these and I got three of them. I did leave quite a lot on the shelf. I didn't take them all, I didn't bleed them dry. But while I was in there, I also tried this perfume. Oh my God, I nearly got myself in the eye there. I tried this because it had testers out, which I've not seen testers anywhere since this whole coronavirus thing has been going on. Like, because everybody had to get rid of their testers. We had to get rid of our makeup testers and all that at work as well. But... I tried this and it was so flipping nice, so nice. I actually can't, I don't know what it is a dupe for. If any of you guys know, please let me know because it was so really, it was just really, really, really nice. I absolutely loved it. It's called Boreve. Boreve. So because I really liked it, I've got two of them. <laughs> so I'm well stocked for perfume for a good little while. I also got some boring health and beauty stuff as well. When we were in Italy, which was about two years ago now, in fact it's really just over two years ago now, I had forgot to take any razors or that with me. So I went to a shop and I picked up like a hundred pack of disposable razors and I've only recently run out of them. So I picked up this because I will be going back to Italy at some point and I probably will stay at the same place at some point and I probably will definitely go and try and get those hundred disposable razors because they were really good razors. They were only like four euros or something like that, less than five euros anyway. And they've lasted me for like two flipping years, two flipping years. I don't need to shave that often. Yeah, so I've got some big ones. They're a five pack. Five pack of these. Also got some toothbrushes for me and Ali because we're needing the toothbrushes. They didn't actually have my face masks. I'm really worried that they're not doing them anymore. So next time I take a Poundland trip, well, I fancy going to Poundland or whatever, it'll probably be in a good few weeks anyway. I'm going to go to a different one at a different part of Edinburgh, which is still quite big and it actually has a clothing as well. So I might see a few clothing items that I want to there. But I, I really, oh, 
These kale face masks are really good. I really, my skin really loves them. They, I don't have breakouts. It feels so fantastic after I've had them. I do have some left, like not a lot. It's not going to last me to the end of the month or that, but I really want to get them. <sighs> I picked up some tissues because they were friends themed. I mean, I really don't need tissues for a good few months. It's like in the in the winter, my nose feels like it's constantly running, whether I've got a cold or not, it's just the cold makes my nose run. But uh these are just these are just cute and they probably won't sell these by the time bloody winter comes, so I just picked them up. They're lovely, aren't they? I love this one, like we were on a break. I was gonna pick up the smaller packs of tissues, but I don't know why I didn't get them because again, come the winter, they won't be selling them and I will need them by the winter. So I might next time I'm in I might pick up them. I got some of these little claws for straightening my hair. Oh my god, oh my god. Who's had the haircut since the, well, in Scotland, the hairdressers are allowed to open on the 15th of July, so this video is coming out after that. So who's had the haircut? I haven't had my haircut. My hairdresser started opening, he opened up the booking system online from like the day that it was announced, so the end of June that they were allowed to open on the 15th of July so he opened up the booking system then and I still wasn't able to get an appointment till the 31st of July and Ali also needs a haircut he goes to the same hairdresser he just has a different person that does it and we weren't able to get like a, the same day appointment so he's going on the 1st of August and I'm the 31st of July but flipping can't wait and I can do my hair properly again I do I did already have these I only have like one or two left so they're breaking and stuff so I mean but it's all right I'm only replacing them every couple of years or something for a pound. I got this little pedicure paddle because I've spent quite a lot of time walking about in my bare feet over the last few months and my feet are just not in a great condition I mean neither are my nails or that anyway but I just thought I'll, I'll show my feet some love in the next couple of weeks when I get the chance I'll give them a little pedicure and stuff and oh a face mask no a feet mask I picked up some of these because I do really enjoy them. I got an exfoliate in one, which is tea tree and peppermint. And I also got a rejuvenating action with vitamin C and D. And this is argan oil one. Yes. Recently, I have been pretty accident prone. I think it's because I'm just rush, rush, rushing all the time. So when I'm, oh, and I've got new knives, so I'm not used to them yet. But I'm cutting myself quite a lot. And I also, I what video was it? I think it was like a two cents Swiss roll video that I done. I opened up the tubby cork and I sliced the top of my finger. Can you see that? Like it doesn't look that bad now, but it was flipping. There was a lot of blood for that tiny little cut that you can see. And the plasters that I put on were the friends plasters that I got, I think last time or the time before that when I was at Poundland and they weren't waterproof. So when I was doing the dishes and all that, it kept falling off. So I thought I'm going to get some waterproof plasters and the only ones I could find were unicorn ones. But at least they're waterproof and, you know, I seem to be cutting myself quite often these days. So at least I'll be able to take baths and wash dishes and hopefully they'll last a little bit longer. Because I don't think I've any of the Friends ones left now because I went through them like water. And the last thing that I got from that bag was some self-adhesive heat pads. Because I'm doing quite a lot of... Painting, lifting carpets, all the stuff that I'm doing in the house at the minute. My back has been quite achy of an evening recently and I just thought I'll pick these up and see if it just helps it a little bit. I mean it's not nothing as serious as it was before. I just have to make sure that I'm resting and not just continuing and continuing when it does get achy. But I thought maybe these will help. I've never tried them before. Even when my back was it, it's really, really worse. I've never tried them. So... For a pound, I thought I'll get them to try. If they don't work, they don't work. But if they do, yay! Right, we're on to the second bag now. Oh, where do I start in this one? Right, I'm just going to just take stuff out because I can't see what order it's in. This is so random. This was just a random. So what I was thinking when I got this is if I have the nieces and nephews, or even just Ali and I, like in the back garden, barbecue, whatever we're having, whatever's going on in the garden. At least it's a little thing that we can play. I had one of these when I was younger and I thought it was so fun to play with and try and do the tricks and all that. So oh, I really don't know why I bought it really. I was just thinking maybe it'll be a little bit fun for the nieces and nephews or Ali or someone during the summer. I also got one of these fly swatters because I live right in front of a 
whole load of fields and all that and the flies in the summer even if it's not sunny outside even if the weather's not that great just the flies in the summer is something awful and I do have the tapes that you put up in your kitchen or wherever you want to put them I have the tapes but they're so unsightly unseemly they're very unseemly they're very unsightly what's the right word here anyway my mum has one of these it's not the most humane way of getting rid of flies my brother also has one of these. I just think they're great. It doesn't have any batteries in it, so I need to put batteries in it. It's one of the electric zapper things. And they do work. They, they work a charm, so... I don't know if I paid £2 for that. Oh, no, there it is. I was just about to say I can't find my receipt, and I'll just find it. <sighs> that is a big receipt. So what did I get? Did I get anything that was £2? No, nothing that I got there was £2. So it was a pound for that little electric light swatter. Oh my god, I love these. I'm also thinking about like being out in the garden when we have nice weather and barbecues or even just a little family gathering. It doesn't have to be a barbecue because I also, well I've done it once during the whole lockdown thing, but I have like just like a little buffet. I had a fajita buffet or something out in the garden with me and one of my brothers and that. Actually I'm planning, you'll see in a second I'll talk about that, but I thought this was quite cute for out in the garden or even actually at the kitchen table it's a little condiment set it's not obviously got the condiments in it but you just top it up and try to get it to see what it says let's see i'll take it out it has four bottles in it it has one for ketchup one for mustard one for meal and i think it's either brown sauce or barbecue i can't see what it says let's see what it says barbecue that makes more sense because it was in the barbecue section. <laughs> Flipping cute is that? I mean, that's not... Oh, it is, it is sticking on very... That is so flipping cute. It's like tiny. That's my hand for comparison. But when you're having barbecues or just some sort of gathering in the garden, they're perfect for that because it's not like the big giant ones that you're filling up. And with that whole idea in mind of having some sort of family gathering in the garden, I got these little things and I thought my nieces and nephews would love this whole idea. So I want to make, it doesn't have to be a barbecue, or it could be a barbecue, part barbecue, but I've got these little um, burger boxes, can you see these? Little burger boxes, there's eight in a packet, and it says Bon Appetit. And in that same range, they had the fries boxes. So I thought I could do like a little burger and fries meal for like nieces and nephews or that, or even if they just come round to the house, because actually, they're allowed in the house now. Um, and hot dog boxes as well. They're all the same range, the Bon Appetit range. I've seen other ones that they've done in other Poundlands and that. The last Poundland that I was on, on, I was in, I think they were like yellow or something, yellow or orange or something, but they, I didn't get the whole set then because they didn't have the whole set. They only had the fries ones, but I did want like the burger ones and all that. I think kids would love stuff like that. It'll be like a fake away McDonald's or Burger King or something. My bed's filling up. <laughs> Another thing that I got from the barbecue section was just this barbecue spatula. Because we need one for the barbecue. And I also saw these little ramekin dishes. I thought these were so cute. Ali's loving having like his salads and all that. And then I'll put a little dishy ranch or some salsa or whatever's candy sauce that he has with whatever he's having actually, not just salad. But he's loving that I'm putting them in little side dishes like this. So we do have quite a lot of little ones like that. But I thought these were actually, because these are quite small ones, I thought these would be better suited for like little sauce pots as well. So you get three in there for a pound. I got some cloths while I was there and I saw them because I actually need them. I've been going through so many cloths with all the cleaning afterwards when I'm painting them. And I saw this and oh, so flipping adorable. It's a tiny little duster, but it's telescopic. I was going to say microscopic. It's telescopic, so it pulls out like really long, so you can do like the high places like my lampshades. I'm really bad for dusting, not dusting around my lampshades, so that'll be perfect for that. And I actually think I maybe should have got another couple, but it's not like I'm never going to go back to Poundland. I was just always worried that they're not going to have them in when I go back. So yeah, that was really good. Also, do you know what else I was thinking that this would be perfect for? I've got vertical blinds in my kitchen. I thought this would be great for like cleaning in between them because it's quite small. I've mentioned this quite a few times in recent videos, but I am trying to 
stack up my DVD collection to what it used to be back in the good old days before Netflix and Amazon Prime because I just like DVDs. I'm a 90s girl, I love my DVDs and I just don't want to rely on Netflix and Amazon Prime and all that malarkey to watch the movies that I want to watch because they're not always on these things. So when I was in Pineland I did have a good little nose through there. Actually, do you know what happened? I didn't even think about looking through the Poundland DVDs. It was Mark that pointed it out. He was like, Tracy, they've got Les Mis. I love Les Mis. This is the movie version with Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman. The best version in the world is obviously the stage, the theatre production of it, which I have seen live when I lived in London quite a few times because I flipping love Les Mis. It is one of my favourite musicals in the world. This is not as good as watching it live on stage. It's okay. It's not bad. It has Hugh Jackman in it, so I enjoy it for that reason. But it was only a flipping pound, so I got it to add to my DVD collection. And if you've seen my Amazon haul in particular, you'll know that the DVDs that I'm concentrating on a lot more at the minute are actually Christmas movies. So I did pick up this. I was going to buy this for Amazon, actually, and then when I was in Poundland, I saw it was only a pound there, and it was like maybe £2 something on Amazon, so obviously Poundland, I'm saving money. Love Actually, this is a movie that I watch on my own because Ali's just, she's just not really into it that much. I don't know if he's actually ever seen it, but because it says Love Actually, doesn't think it's a movie that he wants to watch. So, I love it. I love Love Actually. Alan Rickman is one of my favourite actors. R.I.P. Alan Rickman. And Bill Nye and Colin Firth. It's got them all. It's got all my faves in it. So, I picked that up to add to my Christmas DVD collection. I did have a look at some other ones, but there really wasn't anything else that stuck stuck out at me or jumped out at me in the DVD collection. It was a lot of kids' cartoons or kids-type movies, which Ali's too big for now. The next time I go to the Pineland, like I said, I'm going to go and try another one, another big one. So we'll definitely look at their DVD collection and see what gems I can pick up there. <laughs> if you missed the memo or me going on about it like six million times in the past couple of weeks, we are decorating the house. I'm decorating the house. I don't know why I keep saying we. I try to include Ali in that. He's been helping a little bit. And Mark, my friend, he's been helping a little bit as well, but it's mostly been me. I am decorating my house recently. That's what's been going on. And it's in the hallway. I'm just doing like white walls and everything like that. But I do want to decorate it with like, well, a lot of pictures and picture frames because I have a massive family and very few pictures rounds my house of my massive family. So I've been picking up like photo frames as in where, wherever I am, I've been looking at the photo frames. I don't want matching ones. They don't need to be matching. They can be mismatched as, as much as they want. I just want to pick up loads of photo frames to get them all, all my family pictures in. So I saw this one in Pineland. I do have some old Polaroid pictures. I got a Polaroid camera when I was like, I don't know, a teenager. And that Christmas, I obviously used the whole... Uh, what you call it, film on just taking pictures of that day. So I've still got some pictures in my one of my photo albums, so I'm going to put the Polaroid ones in here for sure. That was the only Christmas, or that was the last Christmas that we spent with my big brother. So that was quite a special Christmas for us when I had that Polaroid camera. I also picked up this one, which is like a, what would you call this, a mirror one? And then I got this one. Actually, when I picked this up, I just thought it was that little one. But it's actually a two-pack, see? <gasps> Score! And the last few items that I have to show you are just little stationary bits. I picked up this stamp set. I don't know if you can see it. It's got, like, a little mermaid-type logo thing. Like, there's the shell, the starfish, like, under-the-sea-type theme, isn't it? What is that? It was a blowfish. <laughs> I just thought that was quite cute to put in the Christmas boxes. And it was only 25p, so yay! And I also had to pick up myself a couple of notebooks because I'm going through so many at the minute, writing everything that I'm eating down because I'm trying to stay really good at that. So I've got this one which says, sweet but savage but sweet. I mean, that really doesn't describe me, but I just like the purple. And then I've got this one which is really nice actually. I really like like a rose gold or is it copper? No, I think it's rose gold rose gold and it's not one that's like got a spiral back it's just like all in the one one i don't know what i mean and it's because this to keep it closed i love ones that have what do you call that what do you call that but just keeps it closed 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 why can't i speak 
looks like that on the inside. I really like that one actually. And what's this? Oh, this one's just lined and all that on the inside as well. And that was everything that I got from Poundland this trip. Please let me know in the comments what your favourite item was for today. I don't know what my favourite item was. I actually have quite a few. I really love these. I really love all these little uh, boxes like the hot dog boxes and the burger boxes and I think they were my favourite this trip. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Oh